Welcome back, thanks for joining us. When we moved on board, there was a winch in pieces. So today, Dad is pulling apart the other winch to see how to put the winch back together. Subscribe to join us and our travels as we share our life on the sea. Well, there's our patch from a couple of weeks ago. We replaced that with G10. It's solid glass board behind there and I've just glassed it all in. There's our holes for our winch up there. It probably doesn't need a backing plate. This was originally glassed over ply here, or glass over balsa or ply, one or the other. And we removed all that and we filled it with solid, it's probably a bit of overkill, but it's just solid G10, which is just solid glass board. Super expensive, but super strong. Uh, we got an off cut really cheap, so that worked out. Otherwise we probably would have used plywood because it's really expensive. I probably don't need a backing, but this was on the boat, a big sheet of alley with a backing plate there. So I might just make an epoxy bed and put that in. It probably doesn't need it, but we've got it. This winch is not coming, it's not gonna come loose, guys. Once that's bedded and dried, I'll drill the holes in it and we'll mount our winch. So the winch was in parts. It's all in boxes. It's all been cleaned of its old grease. There's a hundred little bits. I could guess how to put it back together and I got a manual, but I think the easiest way for me to get my head around it is I'm gonna service the winch on the other side and therefore I'll see exactly how the winch is assembled and then I'll just uh, copy that to this side. So at the end of the day, he's gonna have two winches that aren't together. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, I can't get them together, we've got no winches. And no, then he'll read the manual. <laughs> You know, you can interpret a manual differently sometimes. I don't want to put a washer on where it doesn't go and one where it should be and shouldn't have and doesn't have and blah, blah, blah. Anyway, that's that. I'm going to make an epoxy bed for that just because of the, it's a little out of whack there. Bed that up, drill that out, mount it on, seal it up. I've oversized the holes, so I'll fill them with epoxy when I bed it and then I'll re-drill it to a smaller hole Therefore, there'll be, if any water ingress does get in, well, it doesn't really matter anyway, because it's solid glass. Okay, so we've got these Lamar 65s. They're quite big winches, uh, as you can see over here. There's one I haven't pulled apart. And what I intend to do, so I can put them back together properly, is I'm gonna service the one that hasn't been pulled apart. I'm gonna put it, I mean, as I pull it apart, I usually put things in order as the way they come apart. Once I've created that order, I'll then try and sort through the parts over there and uh, make sure we've got all the parts. And by the time I finish servicing this one, I'll know how to put that one back together. So that's the plan. We'll see how it goes. Sometimes things go to plan, sometimes they don't. But I think it's pretty straightforward. We've serviced winches before pretty much see the way they come apart is the way they go back together with a bit of cleaning and a bit of grease so just hopefully all the parts to the other winch are there it was just a bucket of winch parts so I'm gonna just line these out like I said see that I've got all the parts and I can put them both back together let's do this <laughs> so apparently my task is to clean all the bits and yeah I was sanding the rail you know, Dad needs help, always needing Bella. Bella, Bella, Bella. She's so amazing, always need me. So that's what I'm doing, just cleaning. It's Dad's favorite task for me, cleaning thing. Slow process. You are a pretty good cleaner though. That's it, you're the best cleaner on the way. Well, Maybe it's never, because it's, Pretty much like watching paint dry. <laughs> You're welcome to do it. <laughs> I'm gonna go and edit all of the footage and make you a sweet video like that. Yes, thank you. This is like horrible. I feel like there should be a faster way. This is not like I'm not doing it correctly. There's a faster way. You ready, everyone? Last one motion. Yep. What are you doing there, Bella? 
So dad is down below pushing silicon up through the holes for the base of the winch. So we just put the butyl tape on. I've got to watch the holes for the base of the winch to go in. Nah. So while Bella and Leah are upstairs attempting to put the winch back together, well they are putting the winch back together, I thought I'd make them a snack and I am going to, I've got some apples that are, need to be used up so I'm going to make some apple muffins. So first we're going to peel the apples, chop the apples and uh, you might be wondering why I'm wearing band-aids, it's not because of our super sharp Komikoto Japanese steel knives. These are beautiful knives but that is not how I chop my fingers. I actually have been cleaning the bottom of the boat so I um, cut my fingers on some barnacles and yes I would recommend gloves when you're cleaning the bottom of your boat. I have cut my fingers so many times, like scraped a barnacle and slipped and pretty much fist pumped a barnacle. Didn't go well. I didn't win. My finger is a little bit sore. Anyway, I absolutely love these knives. These knives are so sharp and they've stayed sharp. They're used by Michelin star chefs all over the world. They are a great present for people because they come in this beautiful wooden ash box. It's a beautiful gift for somebody and if you would like to purchase your very own Komakoto knives, I suggest you do, then you can use the discount code that is down below and the link that is in the corner and down below and you can get $50 off. Go head over to Komakoto, get your own set of these incredible knives. They have a lifetime warranty and are just made life in the kitchen a breeze. Oh, my egg just rolled off the bench. Yep, my egg is broken. Don't roll off again, mate. No, stay there. Two cups of flour. One and a half teaspoons of baking powder. Put some cinnamon. Our eggs. I'm going to pour those into there. Then we're going to grab my butter and we're just going to chop it up and uh, about a half a cup so that's why I got my half a cup there. A little, probably a little bit too much. Put that to the side. And a bit of vanilla. Oops. It's ice cream. It. <laughs> There's your creams. I'll put the eggs in. One at a time. Alright, then we're going to grab, we're going to set that aside. Two tablespoons of flour, put that in there. Then we're going to use a bit more cinnamon. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> Not that much. That was way too much cinnamon. So, um, I'm just going to put that over. I'm going to coat the apple. Alright, stay in there, apples. Okay, there we go. Well, we've got our flour back. Put this mixture in. Oh dude, I just made such a mess. And then we're gonna put, I'm gonna just put that down because I already spilled milk all down on the floor. Fold it through and then we're just gonna put a little bit of milk at a time and then fold it through. We are going to, I think I've got probably more apple than what the recipe suggested. We're just gonna fold that in. This is gonna be super apple-y, but how good's apples? Apple-y goodness. I am messy. My muffin pans, but well, firstly what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna butter them. And rub it all around. This super apple-y mixture. You know what? I think it's gonna be really nice. All right guys, I'm gonna put these in the oven. Let's go and see how Bella and Leah are doing. What are you doing, honey? Oh look, I really want to get this back together and one of the pieces that was missing was a washer. I don't have the right size washer, so I'm sort of just making one. I'm probably going to lose it into the drink here, but I'm going to have a go anyway. Oh, oh I've got to make it a lot bigger. Do you want to grab my die grinder for me, Belle? i just got to make it a little bit bigger, guys. Oh, no. I don't have a drill bit. But maybe my die grinder will fit in there, I'm not sure. 
I just don't want to wait. I just want to, I've sort of started. I got my head around these winches and I got both of them pulled apart. So I sort of want to get both of them, or at least one, put back together. I'd like both put back together, to be honest. Hold that for me, Belle. Real backyard style, guys, but I just want to get the job done. I need warmer work clothes soon. It's already colder. What'd you do? Man, it's too big. Oh, that's perfect. Look at that. Show me the other side. <laughs> Alright. Let's get this back together. Alright, so it's time to put it back together. We're not going to talk to the captain because he's very much in his head right now. He needs to think. Because he's got a lot going on over there. Bella's cleaned all the bits. they very helpful cleaning all the parts. What have you been doing? WD quartering them? Yep, WD quartering them. <laughs> That's exactly what I've been doing. Yeah. Do. <laughs> Put that on there, wipe them down. So yeah, all I've been doing is WD-40ing them. <laughs> and if there isn't any like plastic or anything that this thing can't go on, then I use the um, strength parts cleaner. Yep. It's a greasy, oily job. My hands are very moist now. <laughs> I don't think they are that oily. They smell like WD-40. Kind of smells like vanilla. Working into the night, but he's got one back together. I got the one that was apart back together. There's a feel. Oh, look at that, hey? Nice. <laughs> you know when you pull something apart, you never want bits left over. <laughs> what happened, babe? Well, learning to me, because I didn't pull it apart. I'm trying to put back something someone else pulled apart. Just noticed a couple of screws, but the problem is there's another winch that's in parts, and the parts are all mixed together. So it's, um, I think, I don't know if there's parts for the other winch, which I do have a few parts, but I've just got a funny feeling these ones go in here. So three, 
those holes. I don't know what they hold, but one, two, three. There you go. <laughs> Maybe it won't sound like it does. Might make it sound better. It was a challenge because I didn't do it. I don't like putting other people's puller parts back together. <laughs> but you know this winch inside and out now. Yeah. That's it. I don't know what those bits are for anyway. But they're on there, so I'll put them back in. So I don't know what they're for. It's probably holding this plate on, but this plate was never removed. But the bolts were. So there's a good chance it could have slipped on us without them. Alright, that's better. Now we're back in action. <laughs> as far as I can see, that's how it goes. That's all the bits, apart from a bearing, and another plate, and a washer off this one, which is another separate winch. I've used up all of these pieces, so... Now it's time to put the other one back together. <laughs> he's nearly there. It's about nine o'clock at night, he's still going. You know what you'd said though, you jinx yourself. You always say, you go, oh, this won't take long. <laughs> Famous last words. He's putting the last little bits together though. Well done, honey. We've got two serviced winches now. And now the one's back together, so let's go sailing. We got our boy back home. <laughs> it's movie night. We're just waiting for dad. No, they're not. They're watching it without us. Thanks for watching, guys. Remember, don't forget to like, subscribe if you haven't already. Hit that notification bell and we'll see you next week. Bye.